love painting animals in general, but I think I painted more cats than any other animal since I've been painting with watercolors. I always look for that image, a certain angle where you can see their eye, where you can find that connection, or just the face expression. Cats are furry, and I love painting anything with fur because I get to use some of my favorite brushes, like script liner brushes, which make painting hair or whiskers so much easier. Cats' eyes are so expressive and can be so colorful. It's my favorite part to paint, and I pretty much always leave it towards the end. Here's a list of all the art supplies you will need for this painting. Please don't worry if you don't paint with Holbein watercolors. Did this cat on Arches Cold Press 300 pounds? You can easily just use a 140 pounds watercolor paper to paint whiskers and longer hair. For the small ultra mini that I used, you can use a rigor brush. My watercolor paintings on a glass. It's just a regular kitchen cutting board. I'm gonna do the same thing, lift it up here because it feels like it needs to stay a little lighter. So in this exercise, I am going to show you how I paint whiskers. Whiskers, eyelashes, just small hair. So I use uh, different brushes. This one is 00 by Silver Brush, uh, Series Golden Natural. I have a size, so wet on wet is when you paint over a wet surface. So you're gonna grab a brush. I am grabbing a flat brush, three quarters. I'm gonna dip my brush in the water and I'm gonna go for the paint. So right away you get some variation. A lot of the lines also in my sketch, sometimes they are unnecessarily in the painting itself, like when I add colors, but they help me, they guide me through. Now the important part is, what? where's the center of this eye? So there's a little bit of black on top here. So I'm going to mark it right away. When I am drawing these little lines, I am constantly referring to my eye. How far is the eye from this line? And that's how I am drawing. Like this needs to go a little higher. And they go well together. Also, this area is going to be neutral tint and I will be adding a little bit of quinacridone red. Neutral tint is one of my favorite colors and I always feel like it has a warmer shade to it. So I added some water already to these colors but I need some of these colors to be a little more diluted with water. So let me just, I guess it's fine. So you see it's it's just leaving this for now, for this next 30 seconds, because I'm going to add another layer on top of the nose. So this was um, neutral tint, but I feel like it needs a little bit of quinacridone red. 